video is going to show how to tag a variant of interest in the RDConnect platform. Once you have identified a variant of interest, you can tag it in the genomic platform, selecting the tag feature directly from the results section. A disclaimer will appear stating that this tag will be visible to all the RDConnect users. A form is then displayed with different fields to be filled in. The first two, concerning the user and the date, are automatically filled in and for the other ones you would have to choose between the options offered in the different drop-downs. First, you will have to select in which sample of the query, if there is more than one, you would like to tag the variant. In this case, we select the first one, which corresponds to the index case. The gene name is also pre-filled in but you can select another one if the position is covered by more than one gene. Then, you will have to enter the mode of inheritance, also selecting from the drop-down. For this case, we select an autosomal dominant inheritance. Now, you will have to enter the origin, which is in this example, a de novo variant. Then, you would have to select the clinical significance according to your variant interpretation. The options displayed are the ones used in CleanBar database, and we strongly recommend you to apply ACMG guidelines to define the clinical significance of your variant. In this case, and according to the ACMG criteria, the variant will be classified as pathogenic. Finally, you can also enter evidences adding specific PubMed IDs or using the comments section. You can now submit your variant. Once the variant is submitted, you would be able to filter your data by variants that have been tagged in your samples or in the whole RDConnect database. To do so, go to the Filter section and in the Variant Type field, select Selected Samples if you want to retrieve only the variants tagged in the samples of the query, or select Any Samples if you want to retrieve any variant tagged in the RDConnect database. In this case, if we select in the selected samples and we rerun the query, we will retrieve the variant we have just tagged. Now, if you select the variant and go to the Candidate tab, you will see all the information that have been entered for this variant. 